assessment. As I said, when I started, there have no doubt been moments of enlightenment. The ahas, these will also happen in your exploration. You're gonna have those aha moments. And I want you to sit a moment every time you reach an aha moment. And then I have something for you to do, take action. I want you to scrutinize every aha moment that you experience. Valerie, what do you mean by that? I want you to put some pressure on the things that come forward as aha moments for you. We heard Vaughn say, challenge ideas for timing, looking at those things. I want you to do the same thing with every aha moment that has come from these past two days and also from your explore visualization. Write them all down and then put pressure on them. And what we're looking for in terms of manifesting is figuring out what are those ahas? What are those skills or ideas that are coming forward that are really vital to you manifesting a new you? I also recognize from coaching that everybody can't necessarily do this by themselves. This is a struggle. They don't have the clarity around it yet. They're still in an exploration stage. So getting to assessment where we really gain clarity about what we need to do now could be a little bit challenging. This is where coaching can come in and really be a fantastic partner for you to help you explore and assess what are the true aha moments? What are the true vital tasks and vital characteristics and aspects of you that you need to move forward? Coaching can also help you understand how to put the aspirational things that need to happen in the proper place and the proper timing. So consider that as you're doing an assessment, do you need a partner to come alongside of you to help you work through that thinking about what is vital and what is aspirational? Mm -hmm.